Spider-Verse. So if you have not seen Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse yet, you might not want to watch this video. You might just want to, you know, jump ship now because there will be spoilers to the events of the movie in this video. Hello citizens of Sage World, it's Sage and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today, if you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be reviewing Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. If you haven't seen my most recent mini vlog, um, it was cut a little short because I went to the movies and we went to see Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which is the newest one. And it was just, it was very hectic and it was dark and late by the time we got back. So, I mean, I didn't want to record in the dark because logic. So today we're going to be reviewing the movie. I just want to kind of give my insight, um on the movie and just kind of like the things that I thought were good, the things that I thought were bad, and then I'm going to give my overall score at the end. So if you could do me a huge favor right now before we start the video, um, to go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, it would be greatly appreciated. And to hit the notification bell to be notified every time that I post. And yeah, so let's get into the video. All right, so to start off with my good points, I really like the storyline and the plot of the movie itself. Like I thought, I I just, I was completely like blown away. I wasn't really sure what to expect. Like I saw the commercials and stuff like that. But, like, I didn't really pay attention to, like, trailers or anything like that. So, I didn't know that there were going to be multiple Spider-Men, Spider-Woman, Spider-Pig. I, I, I didn't know. I really didn't. And it just kind of threw me for a loop. So, you know, I was just kind of like, whoa. So... I thought I thought that was really I thought that was really cool um, especially since the original the original Peter Parker of the first timeline the blonde one the one of like the first timeline I I wasn't expecting him to like die I thought they were just gonna like fight him together like I figured that Miles would be the newer Spider-Man but I thought him and the Peter Parker from his time would just like collab or something like that because I basically was going into the movie thinking that it was going to be someone like the game that had came out before it so you know when Peter died it was kind of like a uh, <laughs> but yeah so storyline plot it kind of it was it was a real look you shocked me so the characters, the characters were, they were nice. I really like the, the, the characters. My favorite one I think would be, um, Peter Porker. Was that his name? Yeah, the pig. Cause me, okay. I was watching, we watched the movie and me and my friend who was sitting right next to me were literally singing Spider Pig. <laughs> while he was doing his little narrative and it was it was a mess we were just we were hysterical but yeah i really i really like that there were different spider people from different dimensions and they all had a different storyline like they basically the very very beginning you know they all get bitten by a radioactive spider like that part is all the same but the rest of their stories are different and the art styles for the different people are different like you have um spider-man noir the all black one like he's like his thing is like the 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 old like mystery type of show shows and stuff like that you know like the shows that would be like in black and white and then penny parker she she was like from the the very very far future and it was 
it was mind blowing, basically. I mean, I was, I was shook. I was shook. The characters were all very dynamic and I really liked the growth and the difference between each of them um, and things of that nature. And then finally, my last good point is the soundtrack. Now, when I tell you my top two favorite songs on that entire soundtrack is Hide by Juice World and Sunflower by Post Malone and Sway Lee. Those, just a round of applause, please, because the soundtrack is so good. Like the soundtrack is so good. If you don't like anything else about the movie, you gotta like the soundtrack because it's just, the music is just great. <laughs> like the, that, it's just that. It's, it's as simple as that. The move, the soundtrack is great. The music is great. You gotta be a real music connoisseur, if you will. <laughs> you gotta be a real music connoisseur to actually like, understand how good the soundtrack was like i ten up like yes 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 i can see why the film got a hundred percent rotten tomatoes that's all i'm going to say all right now let's get into my bad points i really only have two and they're not even really like bad points because i i just like the movie that much um, but like my first one is like, he didn't get the girl, quote unquote. So I was really expecting Gwen and Miles to like be a thing. But then she ended up being Spider Woman from a different dimension, which kind of like took away my whole like expectation. Like when they met and everything and from the trailers, I was excited. I was like, oh yeah, ready to get the girl, they're ready to be together, and the movie's gonna be great, da 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 But it just, <laughs> it wasn't like that, and it kind of it kind of made me upset, in a, a little bit, it kind of made me upset a little bit, because when you think of every other Spider-Man movie, he always gets the girl, or he always saves the girl, you know? Except for like, the original Spider-Man movies, because he didn't get the girl at the end anyways um but yeah that was kind of like a kind of like a downer a little bit for me because I was really hoping they were gonna be together and then she just left I mean granted at the very end she kind of like portaled through or whatever but I don't there's no confirmation about a second one yet yet um, and then my second bad point is about Uncle Aaron. R.I.P. <laughs> so let, let's talk about Uncle Aaron for a minute. So when they revealed that Uncle Aaron was Prowler, I was, I was distraught. When they revealed that he was Prowler, I was really, really, like, distraught. I, I mean, my, granted, my friend called it, like, right before they revealed it, but at the same time, it was like, I thought that Uncle Aaron was, like, a really cool character, like, I, like, I thought he was gonna be Miles' mentor and was gonna help him throughout the movie, kind of be like the, kind of be like the Aunt May that Peter had but then they revealed him as Prowler and then Fisk shot him so I was just I was blown away and I was really upset because I thought he was a very dynamic character and I thought that he had more potential in the movie I was I was looking for I was looking for more from him basically um and I didn't and I, it just wasn't there so I mean but granted my bad points aren't really bad points they're just little things that kind of like disappointed me throughout the course of the movie you know overall the movie was great and i will give it a five stars that's person that, i mean that's just how i'm feeling you know it's just how i'm feeling but <laughs> but 
yeah overall i really thought that the movie was good i liked the plot the characters were all different and dynamic and it really shocked me and it threw me for a loop um i really like the soundtrack the soundtrack is by far my favorite part of the movie hands down my favorite part of the movie is the soundtrack if you like this video don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel to see more of me doing my thing and i hope you all have a nice lovely day um so uh follow me on all my social media the twitter and the instagram and i will see you guys on the flip side bye <laughs>